Our lab is interested in knowing how the organ is developing uh, in a human body. And knowing that, we are trying to generate uh, patients or human-specific organ in a petri dish, what we call organoid or miniature organ-based approach. So organoid has uh, multiple cultures. The first one is there are multiple organ-specific cell types. And secondly, uh, they are well-organized in a uh, manner we see in our body. Because of that, um, organoid has uh, organ-specific function. For example, in a liver case, uh, hepatocytes is metabolized number of different drugs to initiate the functions or uh, prevent the toxicity or damage. So in our laboratory, we have developed multiple uh, different liver organoid platform where we can generate uh, organized uh, liver structure in a petri dish. For example, uh, in this movie just illustrates the blood vessel network formation in our liver organoid system. So because of these technologies, we now are able to study the human specific disease uh, conditions, for example, drug-induced liver damage. So the question we had uh, for this study is, is can we model the uh, drug-induced side effects or drug-induced liver injury or what we call DEWI. So uh, to tackle this problem, Masalu and Eri collaboratively developed a very exciting approach to predict the potential toxicity or side effects. So uh, we have invented uh, a new genetic risk score uh, formulation to study number of different donor dependent consequences after drug exposure. So uh, what we found from the number of experiments, uh, we show that our genetic risk score can inform the potential side effects uh, uh, across a multiple different donors informed by genetic risk score. So this simply suggests if we have a higher risk score by our genetic risk score, patients might exhibit it more likelihood for the drug-induced liver damage. So taken together, we are proposing an uh, organoid-based my medicine application in the near-term future. So there are three main applications through the my medicine. The first one is uh, obviously a genetic risk score can be directly uh, predict the patient's conditions uh, after drug ex exposure. And also we can use the patient-specific organoid model system exposed with the uh, drugs to be treated. Maybe we can inform the safer drugs depending on the patients. Thirdly, uh, our genetic risk score also informed number of key pathways regulating the drug-induced liver damage. So we can potentially target um, the uh, mechanisms to treat the conditions. We can namely develop the new drugs for DEWI. So in summary, we can foresee a variety of different exciting applications through organoid-based my medicine. Thank you.